Are you ready to rock out with Teaser Talk? A podcast full of music, fashion, humor, and randomness. Here are your hosts, Donna and Holly. Happy Teaser Talk Tuesday. Donna and Holly here with another kick-ass podcast episode. So today we are discussing six bands that you need to listen to now you definitely need to tune in and hear all these people that we're going to talk about. So, Donna, why don't you go ahead and kick off our first band, and let's let's let everybody know who the heck they need to be rocking out to. Well, I'm going to tell you right now who you should be listening to right now. So, I'm going to kick it off with the number one band everyone in the world should be jamming out to, and it is The Used. So Holly and I have both always just been infatuated with this band since we were young. I think when Holly moved here, that was one of the first things we really kind of bonded over was the used. I think she was the first one that introduced me to their music, and I've been hooked since. Uh, You could say it was a background music to our lives. I think even now, I don't think there's a point when we're together that we don't at least turn on a couple songs um, from their older albums. And last year, we actually got to finally see them perform. I went to Texas, and we got to see them live. And it was definitely, like, one of the top ten moments in our lives. It was, like, one of those I can die now, so happy moments. Um, So as if we didn't already love the used, they released their new album um, just recently, within the last couple of weeks, and it's absolutely amazing. Uh, my favorite song is probably Over and Over Again, and it's just one of those songs that you just have to dance to. Not that you just want to dance to, like you have to. It comes on, and you dance. So they've definitely deepened my love for them, even though I did not think it was possible. So the used, if you've not checked them out, you need to. Uh, you can find them on Instagram. Their handle is at the used. So check them out, like their page, follow them. Uh, you're you're really going to like them. I'm, I'm going to be super surprised if you've never heard anything by them, but if you haven't, you have to check them out. And if you have heard stuff by them, you've got to check out their new stuff because I know that they're um, – it's, it's pretty cool because I feel like we've actually grown up with them, right, because they were like those little crazy teenagers screaming, jumping around on stage um, and singing about crazy, you know, fun stuff. But now you listen to their music, and it's cool to see the transition of, like, even, like, I feel like Bert has made a transition just by having, getting married and having a child. You know, it's, it's cool to see how those guys have matured, and I just, it's just an awesome band to jive to, for sure. It is. They're awesome. Very cool. So, um, what would you say is your favorite song by them, Donna? Favorite song ever? Oh, man. Um... Definitely, probably, Lunacy Fringe. I know it's probably one of your favorites also, but that's that's one that I really like. But I'm telling you, with this new album, the song over and over again, it's like way up there. Like, you listen to over and over again, over and over again. (laughs) Ha! You're so lame! (laughs) I know. Okay, cool. So... Definitely, you guys, check out The Used. Um, Donna told you the handle, which was at The Used on Instagram. So next up, um, I've got to say that you guys need to check out, like right now, if you haven't already, is Avatar. So if you look at their Instagram, it's at Avatar Metal. So I have recently really got into them after seeing them live for the first time this year. They were touring with All That Remains and Five Finger Death Punch. Um, is back whenever we actually got an opportunity to catch up with Jeremy Spencer and did an interview with him. Um, so just seeing them live, it was just super cool because I just, you know, obviously I just love a good act, right? They're definitely performers, and the fact that they're a heavy metal band from Sweden, they, that sweetened the deal. Um, I've been in touch with Tim. He's actually a super cool, nice guy, and we've been meaning to connect. We've missed some connections due to timing, tour issues. I booked the wrong flight. Crazy stuff like that. Um, but, Tim, just know that I'm coming for you to have you on Teaser Talk, and I can't wait. I'm coming for you. I That's am. not creepy at all. Not very creepy, but whatever. 
Yes. Okay, so next up, um, CKY. And this recommendation is pretty much based on the same premise as the used. It's a band that we've always loved, we grew up listening to. Um, so as I said, we always loved them, and then we got to meet them, and now we love them more. As I mentioned in a previous episode, I have very nice dreams about Jess Margera dressed as a pirate. But anyway, <laughs> that's a different story. We're talking about music, not men in pirate costumes and eye patches. And anyway, so <laughs> if you guys are interested in talking about men in pirate costumes, um, DM Donna. She would be all about that shit. Yes, yes. Send me your eye patch pictures. <laughs> anyway, so they just dropped a new album as well. It's called The Phoenix, and it's just out of this world awesome. Uh, if you want like a really good taste of the album, check out Days of Self-Destruction or Head for a Breakdown, and you'll really just get why this album is so amazing. Plus, their old music is so timeless, just meant to be loved forever and ever. So no matter what album you check out of CKY, I guarantee you will just fall in love with them. Yes, and what I really love about them is I feel like they're just like, I don't they're just cool dudes. And yes, I still use the word dudes. I'd actually define dudes. them as rad dudes. Um, yeah, I was going to say, you say rad. No one should be surprised that you say dude because you say rad on a very regular basis. It's so sad. It's a bad habit. But, you know, they really are. I mean, um, I got the chance to catch up with um, Jess and, you know, just seeing him, like a, there was a fan there that had made a custom drum something and another. I'm sorry, I'm not a drummer, so I don't know the details of everything. But it was so cool just how, how he was, like, how he received it. He just was over the moon, like, thank this kid, and um, posted him on Instagram. And, you know, it was just, it was just pretty cool to see that because, you know, a lot of people, I know that they get kind of annoyed or even tired of people coming up to them and giving them things. But he was definitely, um, he's very grateful and just a cool guy. So, yeah, they're just good, good people for sure. Yeah, they are very down to earth. So you can check them out on Instagram. Their handle is just at CKY Music. Okay, perfect. So what we got next is nothing more. So shout out from Texas. Woo -woo. They are actually from San Antonio. I love really about what I love really about nothing more is the majority of their music is from like events that have happened to them. So, of course, you know, when you have people singing or in writing music about stuff that are really personal, they're just, the performance is just out the roof. The energy is amazing. Um, I know one of Donna and I's favorite songs are Go to War. You guys make sure to check them out on Spotify. I know that that's, they also have a music video up for that one. Nothing More is a, another band that was on our radar uh, to get on Teaser Talk. Um, so, we will make sure we connect with them I know timelines were crazy when they were on tour with Dallas, um, when they were on tour in Dallas with family and all that good stuff. But shout out to them for hooking us up with an all access pass last week in Dallas. And how many other times I'm going to say Dallas? This is a drinking game. So if I say Dallas one more time, you guys got to take another shot. Oh, man. Dallas, Dallas, Dallas. Okay, sorry. Um, <laughs> But yeah, shout out to them. And then, you know, also, I want to bring up another band that's not in included in the six, but this would be plus one. Um, while I was wondering, wondering aimlessly around um, with the, you know, just checking things out, Nick from My Ticket Home, I think he felt bad for me. I probably looked like a lost puppy walking around. And he was the lead singer of the band, and he let me tag along with him for the night. They were just a super awesome band, super funny. Um, I've got to check up with them because they were pulling pranks the next night for the final show of the tour. But um, it was it was cool to see them. I was walking around and looking at the merch, and what caught my eye is they had a shirt. And, of course, you guys know I'm a sucker for shirts. 98% of my wardrobe is band tees. But their shirt literally was just a black shirt, and all it said was, my ticket home sucks. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm buying that shirt. And, you know, of course, they're like, surprisingly, this is actually a number one bestseller. So, yeah, that's clever marketing. Check them out. Their Instagram is at MyTicketHome. 
And then, of course, Nothing More Instagram is at Nothing More Music. That's awesome. Should we make a shirt that says Teaser Talk Sucks? But then I feel like we're not that cool enough to do that. And right, so it would just be like, yeah, you do suck. <laughs> what if like people are like, yeah, of course. Like, why? Uh, of course you guys. Duh. <laughs> I don't know. One of these days we might get brave. That's a good idea. Though. Yeah, I like it. All right, so next is one that I don't think a lot of people have heard of. I know when I first uh, told you about it, Holly, you weren't sure who they were. But I'm sure you love them now that you've heard them. So the band's name is Screaming Females. And I actually just recently stumbled upon this band. Um, I was just on the hunt for some rock bands with rad-ass female vocalists. Not to be confused with rat-ass female vocalists, because there are some of those out there. No offense, guys. But I'm usually not real into women vocalists in the rock world. Just not. Sorry, it's not my thing. But this band I really enjoy. Um, it's not really as it suggests. I mean, the band is called Screaming Females. Um, it's actually just one lead female vocalist, and then there are two guys in the band with her. Um, so the first time I heard them, it kind of reminded me of something that you hear on Guitar Hero or Rock Band. Um, like, oh, huh, never heard of this band, but I mean, they're pretty cool. I'm going to look them up after I totally shred and beat this level. So it's just a really kind of fun band. The music's cool, and then her vocals. Um, I think the lead singer's name is Marissa, and she just has like a really cool vibration in her voice that blends really well with like the style of rock they play. So I definitely suggest you check them out. It's something different. And as I said, it's not something that you hear all the time like some of these other bands we've talked about. They're not as popular. So it's just really something new you can get into. Um, you can find them on Instagram. Their handle is at official underscore screamels. Yes, and you know, also checking them out whenever you sent them sent them over my way. They have some really rad artwork. I mean, that's pretty cool. Um, that's another thing I can admire. Some as I can appreciate a nice artwork for people's covers. Um, and then, you know, while we're talking about this, Donna, you have a really great ability of finding bands that just sound good. Like me, you know, like it, it probably is like I've heard them maybe on the radio, I've heard them at a show, I've heard them at a concert, but you find people from like other countries and shit. Like how, how do you, <laughs> like what is your method of finding a good rock band? Honestly, like I think I just... Uh, and don't get me wrong, there's a lot of songs that I like. Like, I'd say, like, over and over again by the use right now, it's pretty mainstream. It's something that a lot of people are listening to. But I get, like, really offended when I have a favorite song and then all of a sudden it's on the radio all the time. Like, I just feel like people are stealing my taste in music. And I get really offended, even though that's kind of silly. Like, most people probably want to be trendy and like what everyone else likes. But that's just not my thing. Like, I really just kind of like to have my own music, I guess you could say. So, I mean, I really, I just check out music in a lot of different places. Like, sometimes I'll just browse new music on iTunes, or um, I like to go on YouTube a lot. Um, I think, actually, where I found Screaming Females, though, is um, SoundCloud. So you can go on SoundCloud and search specific genres. And the thing with that is, you'll actually find a lot of bands who may not even be signed. Um, so sometimes you can find just really cool emerging bands from there uh, that, I mean, who knows? Like, you might listen to them on SoundCloud, there'll be nobody, and then their music might catch on, you'll hear them on the radio, you know, a year or two down the road. So I just think it's really important to kind of venture away from the radio, and you're going to find a lot of cool things that, you know, you might miss out on otherwise. Yes, for sure. I agree with you. That's super cool. Okay, awesome. So our next and last band that we have for you guys to listen to is Make Out. So, okay, yeah, you, we just went from, like, metal to nothing more, and now I'm showing you guys this pop-punk band of kids that uh, might be still in their teens. <laughs> but anyway, they're 
we're just a group of fun kids. Um, actually, I saw them. The first time I've heard about them was on Instagram, on an Instagram story that Travis Barker from Blink-182 uh, had tagged them in. And you don't see a lot of, like, bands, you know, or band members giving a lot of love of, for other bands outside of tours and things like that and outside of friendship. So it was just kind of, that kind of piqued my interest to see, you know, somebody like Travis put on his Instagram story about, you know, another <laughs> young kid. So, of course, I had to check them out. And I found them on Spotify and instantly was hooked. I feel like I'm 16 again when I listen to them. I love it. I just, I love a good, fun band. And um, I know Don and I both enjoy their songs, but I'm going to say that you guys first need to listen to Secrets. I'm going to say that one wins the favorite contest just because of their line, I hope you choke on a hot dog from 7-Eleven. <laughs> yes. I think, and, and that's the fun thing about them. Like, even the titles of some of their songs are just, like, really fun and just kind of give you an idea about the silliness you're going to get from the song. One of my favorites, and I think it was their first single, is called I Don't Want Anybody That Wants Me. And, I mean, I don't even need to listen to the song to enjoy that. Like, I don't want anybody that wants me. I just like it. Yes. So you guys check them out. Their Instagram handle is at makeoutofficial. All right, guys. So I really hope you take our advice and go and listen to some of these awesome bands. We would not steer you in the wrong direction when it comes to good music. So check them out. Let us know what you think of them. Um, and tell us some of your favorite bands. If you had to pick like a top six, this is what you have to listen to, uh, what would they be? Uh, send us those. Maybe we'll feature some of those artists in another episode. Um, and speaking of other episodes, we are hoping to have a couple of artist interviews done this week that we can share with you in upcoming episodes, so make sure you stay tuned for those. Yes, absolutely, you guys. Keep rocking. Thank you for listening to Teaser Talk. For topic requests and to connect with the hosts, follow at talk underscore two underscore teaser on Twitter. Keep rocking.